Now coming to the complications of AKI. Uh, first of all, the complications can be in the form of metabolic complication. The common complication is hyperkalemia, hyperphosphatemia. Sometimes you can see hypermagnesemia. There will be raised uric acid levels producing hyperuricemia and there will be hyponatremia which is mainly dilutional, hypocalcemia and metabolic acidosis. Usually uh, met mild metabolic acidosis can, can be there in AKI without any problems but any metabolic acidosis where the pH of the blood falls less than 18 in arterial blood gas analysis is to be considered significant. Also, sometimes examiner has a tendency to ask why will hyperkalemia happen? Hyperkalemia is directly related to inability of kidneys to excrete potassium. So, glomerular basis of hyperkalemia is the one that you need to remember. Then we have cardiopulmonary complications which includes arrhythmias, pulmonary edema due to volume overload, pericardial effusion can happen, pericarditis can happen, hypertension, pulmonary embolism and MI can have also been reported. Thirdly, we have GI cause, uh, complications which includes nausea, vomiting, malnutrition and GI hemorrhage. Fourthly, we have neurological associations which are related to altered sensorium, seizures and neuromuscular irritability. All these problems can be produced by either uremia or they can also be produced by hyponatremia. Remember that raised serum creatinine directly does not cause altered sensorium but raised blood urea nitrogen can produce these CNS effects. And then we have hematological abnormalities like anemia, thrombocytopenia and bleeding manifestations and infections can happen like pneumonia, septicemia and UTI. So these are the complications of AKI.